Hey guys, what's going on? Absolutely beast here. So today, uh, I wanted to kind of do a follow-up video to my video yesterday, uh, which uh, was Forza Motorsport 7 versus Gran Turismo Sport. Um, so today, I'm going to be talking about uh, Project Cars as compared to Forza 7. So um, initially, uh, so this is Hockenheim, by the way, and this is the uh, Ferrari, I believe it's the 312 T2, uh, which is a car I was really familiar with in uh, Forza 5, and uh, this is the car from that movie Rush, uh, with, uh, it's the car that was driven by uh, Nicky Lauda um, in the late 70s. So anyway, so initially I planned to kind of open talking about the sales numbers, um, and I did a lot of research as much as I could and found that uh, the sales numbers are actually pretty close between Project Cars and Forza. Uh, so what I looked at were Project Cars 1 and Forza Motorsport 6 and it seems like uh, the sales numbers are a little closer than I thought they were so you know part of that's due to the fact that uh, you know Forza has an Xbox exclusive and Project Cars was for both platforms I, I think it said about 60 or 65 percent of them were sold on PS4 um, but yeah so I mean they're a small studio uh, very small studio, and what I've learned from watching the different videos um, uh, on E3 uh, with the developers talking about Project Cars 2, uh, it was pretty clear to me that um, they were you know, they were talking about how they don't even all live in the same area. So some of them, they live all around the world, and they sort of share information and, and work on the game that way. Like one of them lives on a beach, and he was talking about like, you know, going, just working on stuff and, and you know, just taking a break and going out and bodyboarding for a little bit or something. And I just thought like, man, that's crazy that, you know, ideal. and they were talking about, you know, really futuristic stuff like, you know, this is how all games are going to be in the future kind of a thing. And, you know, so props to them because they made a, a, a game that had a lot of hype around it. Um, at least among the people that I played with and the people that I encountered on Forza Motorsport 5 uh, when we were, you know, when we were talking about it, there were, there were a lot of people that were kind of ready for that Project Cars and it seemed like a pretty cool game. Now, um, the Xbox One version was infamous, though, for having an incredible amount of bugs. Um, the game only ran at 900p, so not even a full 1080, um, and it also only ran at 30 frames per second um, with all sorts of kind of issues. So, um, yeah, I mean, I own the game. Um, I did put up a video just a couple weeks ago. Uh, I think the title is uh, Audi Project Cars Audi R8 V10 on Laguna Seca. Um, if you guys want to check that out. Um, but something that um, you know I noticed about that game was that the the feel was really off on the car. Um, so you know they work a lot with uh, in the new version Project Cars 2. They've worked a lot with drivers, um, and they've worked with specific drivers for for specific cars, not necessarily like a driver for multiple cars, but like a specific driver for a specific car, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, you know they can get incredible amounts of feedback from someone who actually drives the real car. Um, but something that always bothered me about Project Cars was, I talked about it yesterday, but there's this very strange phenomenon where you go through a corner, like here I'm turning to the right, and so what you would notice is that the inside tire, which would be in this case the back right tire, um, on on Project Cars, it, it rocks up and comes up off the ground. And uh, I read in an article from someone who was reviewing Project Cars talking about how uh, the weight transfer characteristics were really wonky and uh, that made perfect sense to me because that's exactly what I feel when I race that game. Um, coming from something like Forza 6, um, Forza 6 is a very streamlined engine um, and it runs at a very, very smooth 60 frames per second. I mean, you never ever experience slowdowns. Um, if you're racing online in a multiplayer, sometimes you can get a tiny bit of a, a lag sensation. Just a quick frame or two um, will stutter just slightly. Um, not exactly sure why, but, um, you know, it's, it's, I mean, you're playing with people all over the world, so it's to be expected, but um, as far as, you know, any other part of the game, very, very rock solid, 60 frames per second, it's very smooth, and the car is very predictable, so um, much like a real car would, um, a real race car, you know, you, when you look at these cars, you see that they drive on slicks, you know, and that's because the tire compound is so soft that basically all the rubber on the tire is touching the ground at the same time, so... You know, when, when you think about taking a turn like this, you know, th there's a limit of grip for the car. And uh, when, the, when the feel is really good, you can actually find that limit and you can actually 
flirt right on the edge of that limit. And, you know, as you can see, as you can hear right there, I was rip, 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 you know, feathering the throttle through that corner, um, trying to stay on the limit. And you can see that in my driving because that's, you know, that's how I drive. Right there. So, yeah, I had to lift off and then you get on the throttle on the way out. So, um, th there's a, a line where you can find the edge of that and you can, you can keep the car at that highest level where you're about to lose grip, but not quite. And uh, that was something you were not able to do in Project Cars 1. Um, it was just, for whatever reason, it just it didn't allow you to do that. You were either fully gripped or you were losing grip. Um, now, in the F1, they call it Formula A in there. I think there's some licensing issues with calling it Formula 1. Because um, that's a, you know, I think pretty sure that's a trademarked thing. But um, they can call it Formula A, which is the same as Formula 1. And in that case, um, it actually felt pretty good. Uh, you had to gradually build up. There were a lot of things I liked about Project Cars. I own that game. And uh, I played it a lot with my friends when it first came out, and there's a lot of things I like about that game. I do like that you get a chance to do testing and qualifying. I do like the fact that the games are uh, longer, matches are longer. I do like the fact that um, you have to warm up your tires properly. So, you know, for those of you that don't know, as we were talking about, like with the really soft rubber compounds and all the contact patch of the tire touching the ground, if your tires are cold, um, they're a lot more stiff. Um, and so they're not going to bend very well they're not going to you know uh conform to the pavement very well so you have to warm them up so you have to drive you know pretty slow the first lap or two until you get some heat in the tires and then you can really start to push the car and i absolutely love that because once you got the tires heated up uh those formula a cars were just brutal um and the sound was just straight up deafening um i mean like i had to literally turn my volume down for my whole xbox you know i have a headset that was tuned in very perfectly and I actually had to turn it down um, and run other games a little bit quieter because that game was so brutally loud so um, yeah I mean it was a lot of fun it was a lot more uh, customizable um, it's much more of a simulation than uh, Forza 6 and Forza Motorsport 6 and the Forza Motorsport series while it is a driving simulator is not as hardcore of a driving simulator as um, Project Cars is and, you know, Project Cars and iRacing fits in that same category. That's on the PC. But, I mean, Project Cars is, is a lot different than Forza Motorsport 6. Um, or Forza Motorsport 7, for that matter. Uh, just the Forza Motorsport franchise in general. Um, Forza always runs at 60 frames per second. It's very solid. And, you know, Project Cars has 30 frames per second. So that's going to cause a, a, just a pretty significant difference in feel right there. Um... And just, you know, you can't feel the, the car as well. You don't have the thing. And one of the things that, that Forza makes really great use of, and this is why I loved Forza 5, um, even though there weren't a ton of cars in that game and people didn't like it, I mean, it was a launch title and it looked fantastic for the time. And uh, the force feedback and these triggers uh, on these Xbox One controllers are absolutely phenomenal. Um, the, the feel that you get from the car when you're, you know, braking... Like, for example, one of my friends doesn't use ABS, and so he was very specific about in Project Cars under braking, he can't tell when he's about to lock up the tires. And in Forza, you get a real clear indication when your tires are about to lock up under braking. You get a real clear indication every time you even just tap a rumble strip like that. It vibrates the corresponding trigger just a little bit if you tap it, or a lot if you go fully over it, or if you lose traction, they vibrate completely. So there's really a lot of... Um, like subtleties in Forza that make it a better game in my opinion. Again, this is just my opinion. Um, these are just, you know, I'm not saying one is bad. Uh, they're both good. I like them both. And I, and I will be getting Project Cars 2 also. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things where it's it's, uh, it's just a matter of personal opinion. And um, I think Forza Motorsport is a racing simulator, but I think it's the, the more consumer end of the racing simulators. Uh, whereas Project Cars is more like middle to, you know, even more toward the uh, racing, the simu full sim racing end of things. Um, and that's not a bad thing. They're just, you know, they're, they're while they're competing games, they're also kind of not competing in a way because one's a little bit different than the other. Um, and I have to say, from the stuff I've seen from Project Cars 2, it does look pretty good. It does look pretty good. Um, and uh, it's, it's pretty, you know, it's going to look pretty good. Uh, but at the same time, Again, I come back to, you know, when you're talking about a game from Turn 10 Studios and you're talking about a game from a, uh, a Microsoft studio, uh, a first-party developer, and you're talking about a game like Forza Motorsport, I mean, these guys have 
vast amounts of money at their disposal and vast amounts of resources at their disposal. So there's really no way that Project Cars can can uh, compete with all the little small details. They just don't have the money. They don't have the manpower. And uh, and in my opinion, that's what makes it sort of a better game. And, and honestly, Forza Motorsport 7 is going to look incredible. It's going to look so much better in my opinion. I, you know, I don't have anything to back that up or support that. I'm just saying, again, it's my opinion, but I think it's going to look way, way better. It might perform about the same, so I don't know. Thank you guys for checking this out. I appreciate it. Make sure you check all my other videos out on my channel. There's plenty of other ones on there if you want. And I've really been trying to cover as much Forza news as I can and find anything that I can new about the game. So thank you guys for checking this out. Catch you next time.